Jamie Jarosik is here. Now, hours ago this morning, you said today's going to be a, a good storm team to uh, weather app day. Uh, we might need to keep a close eye on this. Yeah, if you're going to be heading out and about, it's nice to have that app on hand to check the radar to see where the rain is and to get your warnings if we do get any later on this afternoon. We probably won't see too many, but an isolated, stronger wind gust would be possible. We are starting off pretty quiet, though. 65, we have mostly cloudy conditions, a few breaks where the sun is getting through. That'll be the case at lunchtime, some sun between the clouds and a jump to 81. And then we'll push into the mid 80s for highs today, so 85 at 3 o'clock and a better chance of some scattered showers and thunderstorms as we head through our afternoon hours. It's not going to be terribly breezy, a southwest wind just between 5 and 10 miles per hour. But our dew points have definitely come up. You noticed that late yesterday probably. They're still up at the uncomfortable levels with readings in the mid-60s. We may even flirt with the upper 60s, so borderline oppressive as we head through this afternoon. And you can see how those values have really gone up. Yesterday we had them in the 50s, so we are way up there. And it's going to feel humid today and right on through the weekend as we see little change in the air mass that's in place. It's 65 right now. We have a southwest breeze, very light. Our dew point is also 65, so we have that 100% relative humidity. And you might notice some haze or even a little bit of light fog in spots. There's a stalled front nearby. This is going to hang out all weekend. And it'll be the focal point for showers and thunderstorms at times as we occasionally see upper level energy ride through. And some daytime heating will assist in that. This morning, there's just been a few showers develop east of our area. Those are moving away from us. We're just starting off with lots of clouds. There would be the potential for a spotty morning shower, but the better chance of rain will come as we head into the afternoon. That's when we could see an isolated warning for a stronger wind gust or even some hail. We just have a marginal threat for severe weather today, though. Here's your future track forecast model starting us off with some clouds this morning, but dry weather at 9 o'clock and really most of us dry at noon. Then we get into the mid and late afternoon hours and here come those showers and thunderstorms as they develop and become quite numerous for the drive home at 5. They'll be around through the evening and even into the first half of the overnight, 10 o'clock tonight. We still could have some active weather. And then finally, we'll dry out as we head towards Saturday morning. So kind of quiet early on tomorrow. But then the potential for more showers and thunderstorms will develop for Saturday afternoon and evening. And again, both today and tomorrow, we'll have the potential to see some heavier downpours. It will be another warm, humid day tomorrow with highs getting up near 84 in Dayton and Columbus and even close to 90 down to our south. Here's your forecast today, 86. Warm, humid with scattered showers and thunderstorms developing. Overnight, we'll have those showers and storms around early on before they taper off. Muggy will drop to 66. And then tomorrow, another warm, humid day with the potential for scattered showers and thunderstorms. 84, the high Saturday. On Sunday, it'll be 82, still with a decent rain chance. And really, the rain chances stick around next week in your Storm Team 2 seven day forecast. It looks like Monday and Tuesday, we could have additional showers and storms. But we should dry out through the middle part of the week. Temperatures stay warm.